Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, so today I thought I would show you how to use the Thinkorswim Spread Optimizer. This is one of the newest tools that I built uh, that uses the uh, Thinkorswim real-time data for uh, Microsoft Excel. Um, so right now you can download this um, in the info file section under my paid Patreon area. Um, so all the uh, premium members have access to this file. So if you're familiar with Thinkorswim, you'll know that they have the Spread Hacker. And the spread hacker is for finding basically spreads that you can trade. Uh, it's a scan uh, for finding spreads. And anybody that's used it knows that it doesn't really work that well, um, or it has a, a lot of limitations or problems. So I had a couple of members reach out to me asking if I could build something um, similar to it. Uh, so this is kind of what I come up with. So essentially what we have is we have the trade builder tab right here. Um, and this is actually where it's going to scroll through stocks. Uh, we have a watch list, and you will enter in um, any of your symbols right here that you want to scan through. Um, one thing, if, if one shows up red, uh, that just means that you've already entered that symbol. Um, and I've done upwards of over 100 stocks in this, um, and I haven't really had any problems with it. And then we have two results tabs right here. And they'll give you some kind of criteria of, of, of what your results are, basically. And then this gives you more of a more condensed layout. And then we have the info section right here. that kind of shows you how to use it. And I'll kind of just go over um, how to use this. So we have a number of buttons right here. And these will let you cycle through a couple of different scans. Um, one of them does uh, put and a call side. So this is going to be both the put and the call credit spread and it runs both at the same time you can just do the put or the call separately and basically what it's going to do is your results are either going to output either a put a call or both so if you're only interested in finding put credit spreads uh, you'll just use the put scan right here and we have clear results which will clear the results from both of these tabs and like all of my other sheets, pretty much anything in yellow is what you're going to edit or change. Uh, so first of all, we have just the expiration date, and that's going to have to be a valid expiration for all of the stocks that are going to be in your watch list. Uh, so right now I'm doing the Friday expiration 1121. Um, symbol here, you can manually change this, uh, but once you hit one of these buttons, it's going to scroll through um, all of your watch list symbols. Uh, strike width, this is actually going to be the width of the spread, um, not by a dollar amount, but by a strike amount. Uh, so what happens when we enter a spread in right here, and I'll actually scroll over just a little bit to the right. Uh, we have another editable, editable, editable cell right here. <clears throat> and this is actually going to do change our strikes in these columns. Uh, so basically what happens, you enter stock right here, and all this will be done manually. I'm just kind of showing you some background how this works, and it will pull up a strike list. So right now we're pulling up strikes uh, basically in um, $1 strike incre increments. If we did five, it would pull them up in five point increments, or you can do 0.5 if you want to do 50 cent increments. And it's going to create a strike list. So right now I have this set at one. And with this strike width right here, what it's going to do is our short option um, for the width of that spread, it's going to go one strike in the other direction for the long option. Hopefully that made sense. Um, next we have either out of the money or uh, delta. And we can scan uh, between either one. Um, you either enter a Y or an N right here. So Y is going to use Delta. So right now how this scan is set up is it's going to find a short option um, at the 16 Delta for both the put and the call. And uh, put Delta is always negative. So you need to make sure that you keep a negative on the put side. Uh, call Delta is always positive. So you'll keep that number positive. So if we want to do just at the 30 delta, say, 0 0.30 for the put side, and then the call side, we'll do 0 0.30 for the call side. Uh, so what this would do is it would scan 
and find options at that 30 delta. Uh, the short option would be at the 30 delta. And we can see it's pretty much already done that right now. Uh, this is our short leg. This is our long leg, leg delta. So this is finding the 30 delta on the put side. It tells you basically what your uh, strikes are, or for both the put and the call. This is what the condor would be if you did the iron condor. <clears throat> if we hit an N right here, it's going to go out of the money. So now we're going 15% out of the money. Um, and that shows us what those strikes will be. And because we are so far out of the money, um, it's basically bringing up a five white spread because once we go that far out of the money, our, straight, our strikes are only in $5 increments. And if we pull up our strike list here, once we go way out of the money, all we have are going to be those $5 increments way out of the money out here. Um, and that is uh, both directions. So I've shown you a lot of stuff, but really you don't have to do any of this. Once you set this, um, you really don't have to do anything. Um, so let's just say that, you know, this is the criteria that you want. You want to use this, this expiration right here. Uh, you're fine with this strike width. And we're going to go back to Delta. And once you have added in um, pretty much all the symbols that you want, um, I'm just going to do these three right here to let it scroll through kind of quick. Um, and I'll show you how that works. Um, one thing, um, your symbols, it takes roughly six seconds for it to process each symbol. Uh, so if you do quite a few symbols, you know, it can take a few minutes. Um, but while it's running, I'll basically just minimize the screen, uh, do whatever else I'm doing and come back to it. It will let you know when it's done. But so what will happen uh, if we do just put plus call scan, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, clear the results for now. We'll get a pop up letting us to clear that and hit OK. We'll do the put plus call scan. And now what it's going to do, it's going to start rotating our symbols in right there automatically. And we'll just sit here and let this run for a second. Uh, since it's only three symbols, it's not going to take very long. It'll run kind of quick. Um, but basically what this is doing. Uh, it's just going to the 30 delta and going to pull up options at that delta and it will give us the price of those and then it's going to give us that output and it tells us it filtered out zero met criteria was three so all three symbols are going to meet our criteria and we just hit okay uh, now we can click on the results and it will tell us uh, basically you know at that 30 delta uh, these are the options that we choose um, so it, it shows SPY right here. Uh, this is the Q's and this is IWM. It's going to give us all this information. Um, and then we can decide if we want to enter this trade. Um, the results horizontal is going to give us more of a, a more of a condensed layout so you can view a lot more stocks um, at once because, you know, this, this screen is basically these three stocks are taking up, you know, 80% of our screen real estate right here. Uh, so that's when I have two outputs, so we can kind of make it easier to look through this stuff. Um, but it still tells us what our strikes are, the credit buying power, uh, the risk, our return, the annualized return. Uh, delta right here, this is going to be the delta of our short option, um, just letting us know what that is. Uh, it tells you your break-even amount. Um, cushion, this is basically how far the uh, symbol can drop uh, before you reach the break-even amount um, at the expiration, days to, uh, days to expiration right here. And we get all that same stuff kind of over in here as well. Um, it's just a little bit different layout. And if you need help with this, uh, just let me know, and um, I'll try to walk you through anything. But thanks for watching. Have a great day and bye.